one of the most important things we do as a company is try to educate, educate and inform. There's a lack of information about uh, all of these issues and personally and in your businesses, it's critically important to focus on it. So we decided to host this uh, symposium three years ago. We started our kicking off hurricane preparedness season symposium every May 31st. We learn lessons from our mistakes or from our, our successes. Our biggest lesson learned from Sandy is consumer education that the consumers, the businesses, and of course we have wonderful insurance agents that do this every day and try to educate people. What do I need to be thinking about to properly prepare for disasters? So that's our big initiative at the Institute for the next couple of years. The city's response, the mayor said, had to be an effort by the city to look at how the city responded as city government to Hurricane Sandy to see where we did a good job and where there might be room for improvement and to make sure that we instituted whatever changes were necessary. We need to reduce impacts where it's possible, but we also have to acknowledge the fact that nature is always going to overwhelm our defenses, whatever they are, and therefore we have to have multiple layers to, to catch those impacts um, when one set of initiatives may fail. Sandy was a uh, an event that, you know, despite a lot of planning and simulation exercises that our, our teams had done uh, over the years, including you know, specific hurricane scenario threats, uh, you always find out the unexpected. And, and a lot of them are you know, really detailed things that you don't necessarily think of until you're actually in the moment of, of battle. We've met all uh, this winter with the National Weather Service. They're actually changing a lot of their terminology because of the it was very confusing. Uh, it was a, a unique uh, storm. You know, it was, uh, tropical, then extra tropical, and northeaster pushing it. So uh, technically there were no hurricane warnings issued for New York City, uh, even though it was considered a you know, megastorm. So uh, they're changing that, they're going to have something called a, uh, a surge warning. The hurricane evacuation zones are very important because uh, it's been documented that most deaths that occur in coastal storms happen from storm surge. We're currently we have three zones. We, in the new uh, season, we're going to have six zones. It's based on better data. Going to six zones will allow decision makers more flexibility in uh, which zones are recommended for uh, mandatory evacuation. One major thing is the communication piece. A lot of what we were doing was trying to gather the information. This is from FEMA, this is from the SBA, this is from the city, this is from private insurers, this is from that. Gather all that information, get it down to those businesses on the ground. And that was a challenge. So I think one of the things that I would like to see is that we can develop a portal, a, a disaster portal, that all of the agencies from federal government to city to private industry can all put all of their information on that portal. And then we can make sure that the businesses know where to go to find the information. Before a disaster, all the evidence has suggested that people will try to say and will say it's not going to happen to me. Less than 30 percent of the people in the areas that were affected by Sandy in the flood insurance and the areas that had storm surge and flood damage had flood insurance. And so we really have a challenge here in terms of getting people to think about protection and insurance beforehand given the fact that it is a low probability event and then continuing to protect themselves after a disaster given the fact that they may not have suffered a loss. In many cases the problem seems so overwhelming that it forces people to just bury their heads in the sand because they don't feel that there's anything they can do so they'd rather just ignore it. And we want to avoid that because the fact is we have to react. Um, and if we do bury our heads in the sand uh, we're going to be paying the price for that. Um, and again, the good news is that we believe that there are things that we can do that are within our means that will have a substantial impact on the future of the city.